42, verse 10. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes and gave him twice as much as he had before. Verse 11. All his brothers and sisters and everyone who had known him before came and ate with him in his house. They comforted and consoled him. Say, Lord Jesus, I forgive what you I receive your word. And I pray you for now. Yes, it is. The commandment of Jesus. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. Away. It says, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. The great locust and the young locusts, a great army that I've sent about you. I want to speak and continue. I started on Facebook. Facebook Recovering and restoring. You restore and recover. But in a sense that in the meaning of recovering, to move or to improve, you do it more than you did. You recover. The word recover means improve. But the word restore means to bring back. So recover. It means you are pulling up. You get more than you have before. On the restoring, it means. Whatever you lost, it came back. And it doesn't just come back. You even get more. You don't re restore and everything the same level. That's how God works. For you to see the doing of the Lord in your life. I said, it, you must restore. I said, you must restore. Whatever you must. Never stop. Pray until you see that which was lost coming back and never stop there until you cover all it's your right that's how the children of God that's why the enemy is afraid of you he knows that when something of restoration takes place in your life it will not just end there. It will be coming an extra Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. It's important to know that you are a child of God. So you must know the ways of God. God's ways are higher than our ways. Whatever happens in your life, it happens for a reason. God has spoken and said, I will never leave my children. Somebody said, Amen. That is why sometimes we come into circumstances where we see as if God has left us. But you must know as a child of God that your father God will never he will never leave his child. Somebody said, Amen. That is why whatever happens in you, 
Do not disconnect from your father. In every action, in every situation, whatever may happen, do not disconnect from your father. Because should you disconnect from your father, whatever is left will disappear. Someone said, Amen. Disconnecting from the Father, it makes you to lose everything remaining in you. Even if God has given you everything, remember what happened to, to the lost son. He went to the Father and said, Father, give me my portion. And the Father gave him. Then he left. He disconnected. He went with it. Everything. When he was walking, he was a happy. Because everything was fine. But the blindness he had is that he didn't know that the wire is disconnected. He was blinded by what he had, forgetting that what he had came from the Father and the light is disconnected. So as he was going, the Bible says he went and spent everything. So there was nothing for him to receive. And everything was going down. Every day he was losing. And every day he was losing. Until the last moment. When he desired to eat with peace. When he was there. Watching the peace. And the peace were enjoying. And he looked. And remember to go back home. He thought to go back home. And he said, I will go back to my father. In my father's house, there is everything. Whatever you have, you will receive it from your father. So if you lose it, as long as you are not disconnected, don't disconnect. You can lose what? You can lose your energy. You can lose your money. You can lose your friends. Don't disconnect to God. Because whatever you have, it was brought by your father. He has got power to bring back whatever is lost. As long as we still connect, so many people, it is hard for them to recover, to restore, because they disconnect from the source. Yes, from the source of their God. From the source. So the source, the source. it says, it whatever happened in my life, that's why Paul says, I know to be in need. I know to live in prayer. I know to have nothing. But I have learned a secret. I can do all things through Christ to enter that book. It's So Jesus can do restoration as long as you are connected. Number two, Jesus can make you to recover, to improve, to give you more. Someone said, Amen. Someone said, Amen. So you are a child of God. You have lost it now. And of everything that you have lost, I fail to declare and assure you the God of Christ the Lord shall restore. I say he shall restore in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 
and he's going to restore create a space for the restored things create a space for the restored things the second thing before we go you must know before we go that you are in a passing of grace grace is your portion favor is yours everywhere you go a child of God belongs to your connection to your father and Andrew's grace will break over We don't work hard as a seven We just keep connection. When we are connected, we feel grace. That says, even if we lost, no but we are different people. Everything I do, you Everything I do, one, I keep connection. Connected to the family. I don't connect to things. I connect to my father. So that my things will be, even if God wants to prune me to the But I remain connected. So what is human But when I remain connected, I stay at peace. I may be misinterpreted, but I've got a secret. After all this, I will come back to my church. I am a person of grace. You are a child of grace. Connected to God allows grace to work in you. That is why when difficult times come, when devil comes, try to disconnect you from your father. He knows that everything that will happen, depending on you still connect. Remain connected. Remain connected. But before we go, the first thing for recovering and restoration to take I've written my first point. You must know what you have lost. Know what you lost. Don't be like all other people who say we lost. Don't sing a song for all people. Know what you, you, you lost. Don't join the majority. Don't join all people. Come to yourself. Look. So what have you told you last again? When you come to that position, you will have power. You will have confidence to face on your own thing. The Bible says in Bible in Job's life, God is only in Job. In God restored. In God, all things will be restored. In the life of Job, everything he had, it was restored. One. He was a unique person. That is why when you come to yourself, you do your own thing. Things you have lost. Even if you are all working in a group, come to yourself. You are unique in a group. God wants you to find you among all. 
Look at the sister. Chau kuna ka. Okay, take a look at this. Oh, what's that that means in the hook? Look this. How do I build up your? As you are busy watching, my photo is such a good child. You will feel all other things making you to cry. Okay, this is the point to allow people to sit up in front of it. Who will be able to allow your tears to cry? For many years, I was. Why are you doing that? When I know you are getting power to face. I am not joking.